So I went to start a print yesterday on the A1 Mini here, and it was telling me that the filament was getting clogged at some point uh, along the way, and I went and tore apart the AMS light input to the hot end here, um, got a little trigger happy and took some stuff apart that I probably shouldn't have. So I'll show you what the troubleshooting looked like and hopefully you can avoid making some of the mistakes that I did. So I started at the nozzle. I uh, pulled the silicone sock off, unclipped this guy, and then I pulled the, uh, the hot end out. And uh, that's pretty normal to have that little bit sticking out. So I just set that aside for now and I kept troubleshooting. I tried to feed more filament through the top, through the AMS, and it was still stuck. So I knew that there was a blockage in here for sure. This may have been the issue, but I could have just heated that up using a hot gun and pulled that filament out and then used a little needle to try and unclog the nozzle. Um, but since I still had a blockage above, I kept trying to troubleshoot through that. So I came to the top, I tried to fit some filament through. I didn't have any filament sticking out the top. Um, I'll show you some footage right now of what it looked like where I could see a little bit of filament in two of the holes, um, but I couldn't fit this through any of the holes. So there was a complete blockage from this point downwards at some point. Um, I got trigger happy and I took the two screws out of the back here, which you shouldn't do. Um, just don't take those out, but for out of curiosity, if you're wondering what that looks like, it just slides out like that. Um, and if you're wondering what pushing this down against that spring, what it does is it just opens up the little flap that you have right here. And I tried to push filament up that way and I still could, I still had a blockage. Um, so I didn't want to keep forcing it. So I just reinstalled this the way it was. put those screws back in. Um, and then I went after the top of this, which again, <laughs> is something you shouldn't do. Um, I made the mistakes that you don't have to. And basically I saw these little tabs on the side and figured that I would be able to push them in through these little holes that there's one on, there's three of them, um, and figured I could just push in, push those in and pop this out. Um, not a good idea. The plastic definitely isn't designed for that. And I definitely have some marks. Definitely chewed it up a little bit. You can see that hole's kind of widened up. It's kind of the same thing across. On all of them. But I got it open. I got it to this point. Um, you can see those little, the metal ring with the teeth. That's what clamps onto the PTFE tube for the AMS and locks it in. So I pulled that out too. And I had two pieces of filament that were stuck in there. There's also this divider piece. So this divider piece I was able to pull out also. And then I could see the two pieces of filament that had gotten stuck. And so basically the two pieces had wedged each, into each other um, and caused a blockage where I couldn't get anything through and I couldn't push back up um, because of that divider piece in the middle. Um, but I think I could have done it correctly in the first place and I'll show you what that looks like. So what I should have done here once I had taken the nozzle out and I knew there was a jam somewhere in this portion still uh, is just come to this little tab here and pop it up. And so that'll disconnect. And now I have this AMS portion completely free from here. And basically I had some filament sticking out of there. So I knew that it was that, that was the jam. I could uh, poke a screwdriver up into there and push the jam out. 
I knew that I had two pieces, so I can still see a piece in there. But I used to jam this this time, push that through, and that just came out the bottom also. Um, and now if I take my test piece of orange filament here, I'm actually able to push it through all four of those holes. So I hope that was, hope that was helpful. Uh, I hope you don't do the same mistakes that I made. Uh, don't take this top piece off unless you really have to. Um, this whole unit is $8 Canadian or $6 US. Um, I'll probably have one on hand um, just in case I do need to get in there at some point and I don't want this being the thing that's holding me back from getting a print done. Um, it does feel like it might be a failure point again in the future. Um, but basically, once you got your, your jam cleared, you have this tab portion and that tab portion lined up. You slide it back in there with the spring and then you just press this down till it clips. So that's clipped all around. You can see that that's back in there securely. And then I'll just reattach the four tubes into the top here for the AMS. I hope that was helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next one.